Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to or welcome you back to the Paint Can Channel. Today we're going to be doing the second part of a stage one on my Yamaha Eluder. We're going to be putting a Power Commander 5 tuner on it. We did the exhaust last time. Now we're going to be doing the tuner. So as you can see, you got a few parts here on the floor. Went ahead and took some of the parts off because they're pretty much a time consuming sort of thing. And I uh, didn't want you to have to watch me do that. Um, you got to pull the seat off and slide that back. And I remember I had that bag on top of it, settlement bag. You need to pull the tank up and then put a block under that. Take the, the side cover off to get to the seat. Got to take the entire intake system off. And being that I had a cup holder hooked to that little door, I had to take the door off to get to the screws to get to the, uh, the intake to take that apart. Now on the other side, this whole section around the intake, that whole panel is going to have to come off so we can get to the right plugs there. So we'll get to that momentarily and we'll get going here on this Power Commander 5 install. So sometimes things don't <laughs> turn out quite according to plan. So I was putting that tuner in the other day. We're about three or four days later now. And um, I don't know, I lost videos of it. So uh, the step-by-step -step on how to do it went all messed up. So what I'm going to do is kind of run you through what I did to get it in. As you saw in the last clip of the video, I um, had the whole bike tore apart on this side. And now, as you can see, it's it's back together. So we're going to look at some of the things that I had to do to make it happen. Again, the side panel seat, all that came off. Right about in here, where you get to the throttle body, there's a plug on the back side of that. That plug had to be unplugged. Then the, the power commander just plugs in line on both sides of that. You route the wiring over. There's one for the front injector and one for the rear injector. You need to take those plugs off as well. And then it goes over to the other side. And when you're on the other side, you have to take this, all of it, <laughs> all of this off. So in taking all of that off, that was a bit of a, a trick in itself. I don't have the biggest hands, but my hands are way too big for that. So it was a, definitely a, a difficult thing to get to the plug that's up in the front. So it's about in this area, the back deep in, is where the plug is for the crank position sensor. And uh, that's one of the things that helps make the tuner operate properly is to be plugged into that as well as I'm assuming it's the, the throttle body sensor connector on the throttle body and then for the both injectors. The injector on the front cylinder, which is accessible from the right side, was difficult. The one on the left side was, that was almost impossible. That that took some definite getting to to make it work. And then again, that the, the crank position sensor, just simply finding that, that was a, a chore. Because it goes, as the directions, it's just a two-wire harness. You look for that, it's got a black plug, there was one right there. Finally got that apart and it was not the right connection. So, oops, wrong one. Found the one that it was supposed to be after about an hour of searching because it was in with some other harnesses up inside like a rubber boot slid down over it. So you couldn't see the connectors. I thought it was just one big harness coming up through when it wasn't. It would have been a little better if we had a little better directions on that, but it is what it is. Uh, again, it's a, a easy, easy install, just difficult to get to. It's powered right off the bike itself. Had to run a ground wire to the battery and put the box itself back there. And it does need to be programmed, so I have not done that yet. I've got to take that to my local dealer. Is going to be doing some other programming in the bike itself with the GPS. So I told him when I bring that over, you can just plug that in and program that as well. He's really good with the setting parameters and that type of stuff. And you can go with just a, the stock tune, which is going to be running a little bit lean, or you can go with a, a pre-programmed tune in there that will go with the exhaust that, that I installed prior. You can do that, or you can do some custom tuning. Again, my dealership, the guy's a, a good friend, and he's a great mechanic, so I'm going to have him tweak and tune as he wants to to get that to, to run properly for our elevation and, and all of those types of things. So he's going to wrap that part up. We did end up putting in a higher flow filter. Uh, still got the stock intake because again price 
as well as the, the duct that comes out the front of it where it goes up into the plastic work in here, you got a, you got a hole about that big around that it leaves. You got a dumb looking hole. Until somebody makes something better, that's what's gonna stay on there because I just think it looks dumb to have a big old hole in the in the, in, the, in the, your fairing and behind that fairing is some electronics. It's great, you, you wash the bike, you hose down the electronics. That's not a very good setup for that, but again, it is what it is, no big deal there. It's not like I'm looking to go racing with it. I just want it to tune in the extra flow of the, the filter and the exhaust a little bit more to make the, the fuel air ratios work right. That's, that's really all I put the tuner on for. It's a 113 motor, it's got plenty of power. It's not any issue with that. So, again, lost some footage, so I couldn't run you through all of it. It really runs quite well. I know I fired it up for you on uh, step one with the exhaust, but it's inside the garage. Um, sound was a little bit off because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up now and uh, see what you think of the sound of it. Got to get my fob first, turn that on. It's going to be very embarrassing because the bike won't start. So again, it's definitely louder, but I don't believe it's an obnoxious loud. Here in New York State, we have a little issue. The, the state just upped some fines for louder exhaust. Great timing, right? But, oh well, I think that as long as we're not getting crazy and really getting on the throttle, being dumb, I don't think the cops are going to care. So, it is what it is. If I get busted for a loud exhaust, that's on me. But I'll let you guys know about it either way. I want to thank you for sticking around to the end of this video, even though it didn't turn out quite the way I expected. And stick around, we got something new to the channel, we got another bike to announce to you, a project bike we're going to be working on, we're going to be starting out with in the next video, so if you have not yet, I would ask you to hit the like, hit subscribe, comment down below if you'd like to, and let's build this community into something fun for other riders, have a great day, and be safe out there on the road.